Hey there guys, today is day two of my adventures with Tristan. We are going to be hiking a section of the Arizona Trail. You can see the sign behind me. This is uh, one of the passages of the trail. The trail is about 800 miles long and this passage is I think 18 or 19 miles long. So it's pretty cool country that we just passed through to get to this section of the trailhead. So I think you're going to be in for some pretty cool footage and then uh, at the end of today We'll show you a little campsite that we set up and all that good stuff. So you might be wondering by now why I am hiking this section of the Arizona Trail. Well, there was two reasons. One, I had the plans to build the travel cabinet for Tristan and I was gonna be meeting him to give it to him. And I know he's kind of an adventurous guy, so it's kind of a perfect opportunity. And two, ever since learning about the Arizona Trail, I've uh, really been very interested in doing the whole thing. So I'm kind of viewing this trip as kind of like my trial run check out my pack, check out the tent, kind of see how everything's working. And uh, the next 18 miles should uh, give me the answers I'm looking for. We finished the first section of this hike, which was about a 2,000 foot drop in elevation and about five miles. And now we're at the bottom of the canyon and just kind of skirting along this little riverbed. Uh, we call it a riverbed in Arizona, but uh, probably not by most people's standards. But there is a little trickle of water going through and we finally run into some saguaros that you can see right over there. There's a spring. What is that, a cache? Might be like a geocache or something, yeah. There's oh. paracord and looks like a little water bucket thing behind some trees in the canyon wall. Utilize the materials I have provided to get the water. Do not attempt to climb in, for we do not want to break the spring wall or harm the spring in any way. This spring supplies water for the through hikers and for the ranchers' cattle in this area. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I guess they're just giving you away when the creek's not running to mm -hmm. get some water. So we're about seven miles through the 18 miles and I think we've got maybe an hour, hour and a half of sunlight left and the canyon's finally opening up a little bit. You can see some more awesome saguaros. So I think we're going to try to find a campsite pretty quick so we can get all set up and have a good meal and have a good start to tomorrow. Well, the scenery is definitely changing. I think we are close to halfway done with this section. We came up to another one of the Arizona trail gates and you guys know that I like uh, metal work and I think that is just a pretty cool gate. They have them all along the Arizona Trail 
and I think we're gonna try to go somewhere over that hill into the sunlight. So it's about five o'clock now. We've been hiking for several hours. We have about an hour of daylight left, but we're still looking for a place to camp. This area that we're passing through now is a bit rugged, not super conducive to finding nice, flat, rock-free, cactus-free, snag-free campsites. But I've got a little bit more time, so we're gonna keep looking. If nothing else, I guess we can always, I don't know, push on through the night or camp in the middle of the trail or something. We'll figure it out. So I think we found our camp spot tonight. This looks like an old cattle corral or something that a rancher set up just to hold livestock in. Um, but uh, it's got a nice uh, uh, bunch of flat spots. So I think we're gonna set our tents here and that'll probably be the next thing you see. So we finally got both of our camps set up. This is my tent and Tristan's is that tarp tent over there. A really, really cool tent if you get a chance to check it out. Um, but anyway, pretty happy with this camp spot. We have a nice flat area, got a fire ring. Um, and then uh, Tristan took some cool drone footage that you'll see maybe after this. And this creek goes all the way around um, the little stone wall that you see and it is just super awesome. So that's probably where I'll filter uh, the water in the morning so that I can fill up my water bottles. And then uh, on the menu tonight is uh, are some quesadillas that I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna try a, a mountain house meal. <laughs> I'm trying to prep myself for a future Arizona trail hike and figured I'd give some of those de dehydrated meals a shot. It's the next morning. The situation is dire. I have just two slices of trail pizza left. But I think we'll be okay. What was not okay was the sleep that I got last night. I just slept horribly. I'm guessing I got three or four hours of sleep last night. The problem was that I didn't stake down the corners of my tent tightly enough and the fact that I pitched the the head of my tent directly into the wind did not help that was a bad move so the day is not off to a great start but I guess the good news is that it can only really go up from here
It's nine o'clock now. We are just leaving camp. We've packed everything up and we've filtered some water from the little creek over here. This is just a beautiful creek. Very clear, fresh looking water because it did rain sometime in the last week. And as I said before, I think we've got about 11 miles, 10 or 11 miles left to go today. Finally finishing up this passage of the trail. I just came through a tunnel that goes under US 60. I think it's called the Superstition Freeway. And uh, I think another half mile to the, where we parked the truck. Well guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you found it interesting. I certainly had a great time on the hike. I don't know if I mentioned it, but that last canyon or that main canyon was called Revis Canyon and it was passage 18 on the Arizona Trail. Um, and it was just a good experience. Let me know if you guys might have any interest in maybe watching me do a series on the entire Arizona Trail uh, because I do think it would be kind of a neat thing to uh, walk across my state. So until I see you guys next time on whatever other project, See ya. <laughs>